Very good morning. Yes, Prithvi, can you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Uh, myself, I am Prithvi. I am from Hyderabad, Telangana. Uh, I had done my B.Tech from Siddhartha Engineering College from Kuremla, Narapalli, with an aggregate of 65 percentage and CGPA of 7.01. And uh, I had done my intermediate in the stream of MPC with an aggregate of 92.6 percentage. I had done my SSC from Nalamala Reddy Foundation School with an aggregate of 82 percentage. And coming to my strengths, sir, I am a self-motivated and uh, active learner, sir. And my hobbies are reading books and learning new things from Udemy online website, sir. And my technical strength, sir, I, I am good at Core Java and uh, my programming language is C Sharp. And the framework which is used, I am learning uh, recently is .NET, uh, MVC. Okay, what is MVC? MVC is nothing but uh, microservices, sir, actually. It is the uh, uh, upgrade model of three-tier architecture, sir. M stands for model, V stands for view, C stands for controller. Model consists of business logic layer, sir. View consists of user interface layer, sir. Controller consists of data access layer, sir. Controller creates the object of model, sir. It passes to, through the view. We can, uh, when we execute this program, uh, the view will return the, the generative UI of respective login uh, register. Based on the type of the application, MVC will display, display the separate contents, sir, actually, UI contents. Actually, there are uh, action methods, sir, actually. Index is one of the action method which is present in controller. And the file result, content result, redirect to action, action to redirect result, these are all nothing but uh, uh, action is an abstract class. These are all child classes, sir, actually. File result, content results. Uh, file result returns, for example, if we have the pay slip, sir. Uh, for example, it is a PDF application. Uh, some pay slips are present in Excel applications, sir. When we use the file result, when uh, file result will display the appropriate pay slips, sir. While using, we will pass the file as an argument. What is the uh, return view? What exactly it is going to return it? Return is nothing but it dis it will display the front end of the uh, front end of the application, sir. Uh, always. Okay. So uh, sometimes we will be saying a return re redirect. Ah yes, sir. So what is the purpose of it? Return to redirect is nothing but uh, when we enter into a login page, sir. When we click the submit button. Uh, it will display us into another web page. It will redirect it into another page, sir. One page to another page. In uh, basic ASP.NET, we will use response.redirect, sir, actually. While when we coming to MVC, we will use this redirect class, sir, actually. Okay. So, if I, uh, as you said, uh, default, we are going to get home controller and index action with it. So, where we need to change if I want to create another controller with the default as what instead of going for home controller, I, want, I have created one more control called display yes. controller and I want to go to show method. So, where I need to go and change this? Uh, uh, we are from the solution explorer, sir, add view. We have to change the view name and click OK. Uh, another home, con another controller will be present in the same namespace, sir, actually. Now, what are the different types of uh, controls uh, generally we have? Like under, uh, especially we in case if we are going for ASP dotted, we have labels, test boxes, buttons. In the same way, if you are going for uh, Razor in the like uh, MVC, when we are going to use, what are the different HTML helper classes or helper uh, uh, which we are going to use? Razor engine is nothing but we can embed it the, uh, uh, within the HTML tags we can write the C sharp code also sir actually. So uh, now uh, what is the default layout uh, which we are going to get? We have one folder underscore shared layout. 
so default you are going to get from that layout only so if you want to change we will be changing from underscore shade layout so that is will be the default layout for mpc application okay now uh, what are the different uh, uh, validation controls available under asp.net sir there are uh, you uh, validations are nothing but in a when we create an application sir in order to empty records has not to be created that's why we will validate the form sir there are in order to validate the text box we will use the required field validator in order to pass the number of characters we will, into a text box we will use the range validator sir uh, in order to validate such as emails we will use regular expression validator sir and uh, uh, user defined validator it, it is uh, it is a validation which we have to the code must have to be written in the .cs file of asp.net such that user according to his or his or her requirement he can validate the appropriate web form in asp.net sir. what is abstract class abstract class is nothing but a class where when we declare with an abstract keyword uh, it is it becomes abstract class sir in abstract classes we can have the method declaration but not have the method implementations uh, abstract classes are basically uh, in order to promote the security for an uh, application sir in order to give the implementation for the abstract classes we will use the concept of method overriding by creating the subclass we will provide the concrete implementation a class we will declare a method becomes abstract it does not have an implementation a method in order to make it concrete uh, we are using inheritance through the method overriding this method will override the which um, the method which is present in the abstract class so that we, we will get the appropriate uh, execution sir for example when we go to an atm we will see only withdraw balance check balance but we cannot visualize the functionality sir by that uh, in order to promote the security uh, the developers of appropriate uh, .NET and appropriate programming languages developers create a uh, concept of abstraction it, it provides security basically abstraction is one type is in order to hide the data when the abstraction we make by using classes uh, one cannot easily easily access the entire functional disorder actually what is constructor? What are the types of constructor we have? Constructor is nothing but it is used to initialize the static properties as well as non-static properties. Global properties must be initialized within a class by using constructor, sir. Constructor does not contain any kind of written type, sir, actually. It does not return a value. But, uh, for example, in order to initialize a static global variable, uh, we use the static constructor, sir. For example, college name is always static student id is non static sir actually uh, for uh, college name we will use the static constructor sir student id we will use the non static constructor sir constructors are of two types sir one is constructor without parameters sir constructor with parameters sir constructor without parameters uh, basically we will also we will assign the value directly sir actually when we pass the parameter, we can change the values continuously. In the when we create, basically when we go into the main method, we will create the object of the respective class, sir. Based on that uh, object, when we can, we will pass the actual arguments. This actual arguments is entirely bind with the the class which is does not have the main method, sir. When we pass the actual argument in the main method. That argument will directly invoke the constructor which is present in the class so that the values will be initialized. Actually, constructor will basically we will use the constructor for specification, sir. When we consider a mobile, sir, a mobile has a front camera as well as back camera as well as pop up camera. Uh, we will use the constructor concept in order to increase the specifications of the product, sir. As we declare the number of constructors, the no more number of specifications, more properties and more features will be make the program very flexible actually. Constructor has the constructor over, uh, overloading. It will be also called as constructor chaining also, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sure, then.
ओके थैंक यू ओके सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर